Hi everyone, welcome back to Sticks and Stones. Another wood spirit video. How to draw your wood spirit. Let me adjust my camera here. I do have a little bit of a shadow here, but I'm in a different spot. I think this right here will be alright though. Yeah, even with the shadow, I think we can see. What I'm going to do is we're going to go through another wood spirit face. Keep you guys uh, going here. And we'll see. Let me take this off. This is going to bother me here. We'll see if we can come up with another character, another wood spirit for you guys. All right. So what I'm going to do is go to the paper. I got my pencil. I'm going to draw kind of like a center line right down here. All right. And from that center line, I'm just going to make a little bump there and a little bump here. All right. We'll start our eyebrows from there. We're going to come down. Sweep this over. This right here will be his eyelid. All right. For this one. We're going to crinkle up his forehead right here. Up in here, we're going to make another eyelid. Right about from here. All right. And we'll kind of lift that one up a little bit. And we'll make that a little bit different than this one. Just enough. Okay, now right from under there is where I'm going to take my nose. And we'll give him a big, big, nice wide nose here. We'll come down. All right, we'll come way over here. Bring it down. Give him a nostril about here. All right. And up in here, we'll bring that in like that. All right from here, we're going to put his smile line. Okay, and over here on this side, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start it here, right, and we're just going to come down. Now above that, I'm going to put another line, all right, but not until I, I kind of get my nose a little more figured out. So I'm going to give him a couple of wrinkles like that so I know where I'm going with it. I'm going to cut a corner right here by doing that. And I want to put kind of a bag in here. Alright, so I know about what I'm going to do with that. How much room I have here. Then I'm going to start this secondary smile line here. This, this layer of fat. Underneath here we're going to shade. That's going to insinuate that we carve this down lower than this part. Okay. And the same goes over here. I'm going to come up here. All right, and I'm going to draw the second part of that. Crinkled up face. Okay. I'm going to give it a little shading here so I know where I'm going. <clears throat> All right. Now, this right here is actually going to be his top eyelid. So over here in the corner, I'm going to make another smaller line, almost straight across, okay? And I'm going to cut a corner, like that, to match this one. And we're going to put an eyeball right here. Okay, we can give it a little highlight, color it in. That way we have an idea where our eye's going to be, alright? And this is again this is all eyebrow here this is his top lid going underneath that eyebrow all right this is the bottom lid this will be the bag under his eye all right and we're gonna really dig this in when we carve over here on this side we're gonna do the same thing going to come over just a little bit draw a little line and we're going to take this eye over to here make a trying to make them at least the same size doesn't matter if it's the same shape but the same size definitely bring this down and bring it over All right and this one we're going to put his eye about here so it gives him a little bit different look and I'm gonna put the highlight there color the rest there okay 
Now at the corner of this eye, all right, come down from there, a little bit underneath, all right, and let's try to give him a big eye bag here. And then just come up, all right, and we're going to, again, give him maybe a couple of wrinkles like this. This is going to be the bag, all right, of his eye. I might as well connect those. This one right here has his wrinkles on this side, right? <clears throat> now you can put as many as you want. I'm trying, uh, if I keep going, it's just going to look overdone. But in this corner here, his eye, <clears throat> that gets carved out. And right here at the bottom of his eye, all right, we're going to sweep that over. And then curl it up. This right here is his eyebrow, remember. So we're going to curl this up and under. That's that little piece of fat that hangs over. And we're going to give him a cheek. All right? And bring that straight down. Now whenever I come over here and I shade under the eye or whatever, that means I'm taking a cut. All right, and making that deeper than above that shading. In other words, there uh, I was cutting out underneath the eye bag. Now I'm going to frame the face, and I'm just going to draw a line around it. And everything that we're doing inside this line will get pushed in and under that line we just drew that framed the face. This right here is going to be a drawing for a walking stick or a piece of cottonwood bark. Okay, we want him dug in pretty good. So here we're drawing the mustache. And again, we would push that into that line that we just framed the face with. Okay, so the mustache would be going underneath that also. And everything will get pushed right into this line here with our tools. And that line will frame the face nice. Let's give him a bottom lip. I'm going to make him kind of straight across for this guy. It's going to be an angry looking wood spirit. He's kind of ticked off about something. Very small mouth. See, this one's going to have more lip than mouth. A little triangle there. We'll take some shading and put it in there to insinuate the cut. And we'll give him some tufts of hair. And again, when I'm doing these, I would take my tool and actually do the shapes of the hair. And then we'll line them later with our V-tool or whatever we're going to do with them. Again, pushing that mustache into the stop cut that we have around the face. When we do our mustache, again, follow the mustache with the lines that you put in it, whatever tool you're using. Don't go straight down, kind of make long lazy S's. And always follow the flow. Of that mustache and then the beard also you know you, if your beard goes to the left then you follow the flow with the hair to the left okay we're gonna put some lines in his eyebrows so we know that those eyebrows are definitely separated from the eyelids okay we know their eyebrows and the more character lines you can put in these guys the better and with the eyebrows what we're going to do also is push those up and underneath that stop cut that frames the face giving them some crow's feet there a couple extra character lines so a little crow's feet on the side any lines and detail lines we can put in character lines make them look a little bit more interesting and again i'll try to start shading him in spots more to insinuate where we're taking more wood out like underneath the eye bags and underneath the mouth and the lips if i make a darker cut or a darker line that means i'm taking wood out there and make the beard a little longer here and we can actually stop going underneath and actually come over top i'll show you that in uh, some more videos where that beard on the bottom will actually stick out. It'll transition from going underneath to sticking out 
and being on top of the wood. Okay, right here we're doing the corners of the mouth, the bottom lip. You want that to tuck up underneath the mustache. That's why I'm darkening the lines there. There would be shadow there, okay. You want that bottom lip to turn up and underneath the mustache. And again, the corners of the eyes, we would take out some wood. Underneath the bags a little bit. It'd make a nice walking stick. It could also be, you know, a piece of cottonwood bark or basswood, whatever you're carving with. Or carving on. Another little circle on the side. Finish the eyes off. Now you go around, you darken your lines, you add some lines if you want more, you take away some lines if he's got a little too many for you, you know, you make them your own. And that right there is pretty much it. That'll be our next Woods Bear drawing. And I hope you enjoyed it and join me for the next one. See you then.